hey guys i hope you are doing well today i want to make sure that we are using only one key for crouch and slide and i also want to make use of enhanced input protections instead of keyboard events for example here we will be using an input action instead of the shift key we will be using a dash input action instead of the a key and same for the crouch and same for the grapple why we will be using enhanced interactions? Well, it is just uh, nice to have, nice to use enhanced interactions as it helps us support uh, many different kinds of inputs and uh, it makes uh, our blueprints easier to manage. So let's get started. Let's open the first person blueprint, first person character blueprint. And let's go to the event graph. Here, let's look for our crouch and slide logic. So here end sliding is just end crouch and when we press R we start sliding. Now I want to use the same key for crouch and sliding. So we will just remove this R here to so select it and we will delete it. Let's look for Alt. So this is the key for crouch or end crouch. So here we are going to need a branch. Let's get some space. We will hold B on our keyboard and press. And uh, if the branch results in true, we're going to say start sliding. If it is false, we're going to start crouch. And when we press, we will check that. Now what we will check, what exactly we will check? We're going to check the velocity of our character so let's get it so we can get velocity and vector length now we can compare it with some number so let's say if this velocity is greater than some number what will be the number in my case it will be 650 if we go to the camera shakes we have used that number because uh, my normal walk velocity is around 600 and running velocity is around 900 i have changed it in the character movement here so have we have changed it here so i'm going to compare it with 650 and if it is greater then we will slide else we will just crouch all right let's try if it works so if i press alt i'm crouching and if i just go ahead we have the normal movement here all right so what if I'm walking and then I press Alt? So we start sliding, and if we re release Alt, we stop sliding and uncrouch as well. So that is nice. Now, if I'm holding Shift and then I walk, then I press Alt, we just crouch. All right. But if I'm running and I press Alt, we slide. And this is nice. Now we will first let's adjust it here. Now here in the event graph, if we look, we have some keys like left shift, E, left alt, and F. Instead of directly using the key events, we I want to use the uh, enhanced input action events so let's do that let's make some input actions for our keys so if we go to first person input we and actions we already have some default inputs here let's make some new ones so from input let's make an input action and let's name it ia 
this one will be for shift work so let's just say shift let's open it and make sure it is digital boolean so boolean is like on or off and here axis is more like mouse input so for keys uh, i'm just going to use this uh, digital boolean type here save it and i'm going to use uh, one more so let's make more oh let's just duplicate it i'm going to select it and press d to duplicate it i'm going to say ia dash now we will duplicate the dash and here we will say grapple and we will duplicate the grapple here we will say crouch now let's go again to blue first person input and uh, we will go to imc default as this is the mapping context for these uh, default actions that is already used so where it is used let's see if we go to the blueprints and if we open the controller we can see that on begin play this mapping context imc default is added to the enhanced input system so we are just going to edit it let's go back to actions input let's go back to input and imc default we're just going to edit it let's get it here and i'm going to add some more mappings so for example this is jump let's add dash and this will be e let's add crouch and this will be left alt this will be left alt let's add uh, grapple this is going to be f let's add shift walk so shift this is going to be left shift so here this is going to be left shift we can click this little keyboard and press the key that we want to use for this input so again let's check we have for dash keyboard event e and we have for crouch left hold we have for grapple f and shift left shift save it now we can go back to our first person character blueprint and let's change those so here we can start by double clicking on these keyboard events and we can go there so instead of left shift what i want here is uh, ia shift so this is the event that we want let's click this little arrow to expand it and pressed is started so i'm going to just uh, over here hold control and we will grab it and connect it to start it all right again we will hold control and grab this pin and we will connect this wire to complete it now we can get rid of left shift by deleting it we're going to do the same thing for others so for e this is the dash ability so i want the dash action here so let's look for ia dash so this is the event that we want when it is pressed let's connect this one to start it so we will over here hold control and grab it and connect it to start it all right now we can get rid of this e event now let's find more left alt this one is for crouch let's instead of saying left alt let's get the crouch action here so ia crouch that is the one that we want to use and we will do the same we will grab it by holding control 
and connect it to started and complete it. You can get rid of the left alt. Now let's look for more F. This is for grapple. So let's get the IA grapple. This is the event that we want. And instead of pressed, let's grab it by holding control and connect it to started. We can get rid of the F key here. And that is all that we have. Let's compile and save. And we will check if everything works. So let's check if everything works. Let's play the game. And if we walk, we can walk. But if we hold shift, and if we release shift, so the shift action is working. But if we dash, if we press E, that is working. And if we press F, we can grapple. Now, if we hold Alt, we can crouch. And if we are running and we hold Alt, we slide. So everything seems to be working. Let me know what you think about this video. And I will see you in the next one.